Our first interaction, um, physical interaction was she was walking out of the base exchange. I was walking in. She was in uniform, so she took her beret off, and I thought she dropped her beret. I know she doesn't want me to tell the story. Mm -hmm. um, so I, being the gentleman that I am, I picked it up, handed it to her, and she looked at me, gave me a, a, a look, and okay. put it back down on her package. And I'm like, okay. And I just walked in, and um, <laughs> after that, it, right. things just happened. We clicked. Right. I was... Uh in the chow hall with my roommate and I was fairly new and individuals were just different people were coming in and I had saw him walk in and I asked her who that was and she said that's Striggle our armor and I was like oh and I said to myself at that time you know because I really loved his eyes I said um, I think I'm gonna marry that man <laughs> and that was in 80, 1982 I ended up getting out of the military. Um, it was difficult when you have children and you're both military, whether you're deploying or your hours. Um, it was hard seeing someone else take care of my kid, <laughs> you know, my child. They would take him to school. Um, we would miss a lot of events at school. And so it was just really difficult. And then after my six years were up, they were doing what they called the reduction in force at the time. And so you could cross train if you want, but at that time, I think they were more um, looking for people to get out. And so at that time I got out and uh, pretty much became a full-time mother and uh, raised our child. And then we had a second one at that time. And then Strigel deployed a lot when I was out. And I think it was Panama deployment that we said okay at this time oh, every night that. we'll look at the moon at the same time yeah. and which we did right um, <laughs> and it, it, so because we knew that each other were stopping whatever they were yeah. doing and looking at the moon and we knew for yeah. that moment that I know, know it sounds kind of corny now yeah. but I think, uh, um, I think it was eight at night or something yeah I, look at the yeah, moon. yeah. yeah. so no, but I but I didn't <laughs> I should get. A, I, I'll get points for this one later. <laughs> so, but that was important because it, 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 right. she knew that I was doing the same thing at the right. exact same was, time. So it was a way of bonding. Right, some so, kind of connection, even though we couldn't yeah. actually talk to her or see each yeah. other. It's important. She, she's my partner. For me, she's my partner. She is the the love of my life. She's the one I want to be with. She's the mother of my children. Um, yeah, she's worth fighting for. For me, um, when I was younger, um, I never had any intentions to get married. I didn't want any children. <laughs> I was going to go in the military, do my own thing, retire, and, and just live my life and have fun and travel the world and do whatever. But um, I think uh, when I got stationed in Panama and I was on my own, um, even though I had friends to do things with, um, when I met Striggle and we started doing things together, I realized that I wanted somebody in my life to share all these things with, you know, and to have fun with and, and to love. And when I needed somebody, whether it was good or bad, somebody was there for me. And so for me, that's what's fighting for because that's what I wanted in my life and that's what I've, I've found in Striggle. And for me, uh, gosh, I, I would fight and fight, and, <laughs> you know, and, and then I'd come back and fight some more. You know, because for me, that's what it's about. That's what a partnership's about. So we met, um, I was stationed at Hobart and he was stationed at Eglin. And we met out dancing one night down in Destin. And he came up to me and asked me to dance, but I said no. <laughs> so, he, so he had my number, so he called me and asked me if I wanted to go get something to eat. Because he was like, because you have to eat. And I was like, I guess so. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> For other people, they see it as a problem that we're married and we were in the same job for so long. And for us, it's just normal. Like there's Sergeant Simpson and then there's Mrs. Simpson. So we know how to separate the two, but it's harder for other people to get. It.
graduated from the first art academy, sure. Um, but when I actually got to read her, the oh yeah, see the non commission officer charge, so it doesn't happen all the time, <laughs> and it's just not one of those things that would normally just. Um, and then we all kind of fell into place, but you know, I was proud to do it, and you know, proud of her um, for being there and you know, making it this far. My advice is don't give up because whether you're a civilian or you're a military person, like marriage is a lot of hard work. So you always have to remember why you got married in the first place. Like, and take time to like, think about why you got married and you just gotta keep working at it because you're growing up together too. So people change thousands of times, married or not. So you just have to adapt and, and accept each other. Good times and bad times. So we <laughs> met in tech school. Uh, that's where we met. You know, we were there for uh, two months and a half, three, three months? About that's three months, long, I yeah, think. Three months, that's how long our tech school is. And, you know, we still kept in touch after tech school. You know, I went to Moody and she went to Whiteman. And uh, we just kept talking and, you know, I would go up to, to I would come here to visit her every now and then. Um, just, you know, hang out, be with her. You know. And then I would go to him and then just go back and forth. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was easy <laughs> being that year apart and it seems like a drop in the ocean now, but during that time we did have our, our issues and we worked it out and even <laughs> if we wanted to, you know, <laughs> kill each other by the end of it. But um, when we thought about marriage and all that, we, we really thought about it and um, we went and put the paperwork in and we got our marriage certificate. We had like these two families from like different areas, different lifestyles come together, you know, because of us from such like different time zones and, and it was such a like a far uh, distance. To me, you know, it was, it was great to share that with my family, with her family, and just have fun with each other. He uh, cried. I cried. <laughs> we have an umbrella. Yeah. You know, she just had this glow to her, this this aura, and it, it just made me feel very happy you know? and my mom was there you know she was real proud at that moment I was in my uniform so I think yeah he couldn't stop saying that I looked so pretty <laughs> and he kept interrupting uh, the sermon and everything and we didn't get through the wedding you could say it later <laughs> but he just kept he was like you look so pretty <laughs> Um, I think it's it's mainly how we understand what our job is, not just our career field, but like our job as being a military member and as a whole. So we, we kind of relate with each other, you know. We know the, the stressors of like, you know, once you put on rank, there's going to be more put on you. Like, you know, all the, the leadership things, how you try to look out for other airmen. I feel like that's more relatable. It's just... It makes it easier in the long run because we understand, like if one of us has to deploy, we understand like what's gonna happen and all the stressors that come with it. And it's just being supportive of each other because we understand since we're both mill to mill, so. 